Hey guys, this video is going to be an introduction to the most common causes of death in America by age. Um, all right, by age up here actually. Now this may seem like a random topic, but it's not so random when it shows up on your board exam, whether it's your nursing exam or your medical board exams, that sort of thing. Um, these are there are questions, and it's actually very simple, and it's good to know just to be a provider and and, and for general knowledge. Um, it's very simple. We're going to break it down and make it super easy for you. There are four causes of death you need to know and uh, by age. And, and this is actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it. The first one I'm going to say is younger than one year old. So these are youngsters. Now, what can go wrong in your first year of life? I mean, what think about you know what could kill a kid? Are they going to get cancer? Maybe, but you know, not heart disease. Maybe, but. Yeah, there are some you know some forms of abuse and whatnot, but the main form is going to be congenital problems. So think about all those you know premature kids, all those different problems that can go wrong um, with congenital anomalies, that sort of thing. Uh, these aren't going to be accidents. These are going to be congenital things determined by genetics before they're even born. Then the next group, you know, just think in your head, you have children all the way up to young adults. And we're actually going to go all the way up to 45 years old age one to all the way up to age 45, these are gonna be accidents. So think about your young adults. They're healthy, right? They might be obese, have diabetes, that sort of thing, but for the most part, they're healthy. You know, think of a teenager. What are they most likely to do? Well, they're most likely to do something stupid or, or you know, not necessarily always stupid. They might get into a car accident, that sort of thing, which they have no control over, unfortunately. But um, anyways, from age one to age 45, we're talking about accidental injury, unintentional injury, um, whether they made a mistake or someone else made a mistake, it's an accident. It was not intended for them to, to pass away, and it's, it's an unfortunate thing. After age 45, we're going to go to age 65. And this here is cancer. So a lot of people will get messed up and they think, you know, cancer is something that older people pass away from. But you really need to change your thinking. Cancer is something that if it gets you, it's going to get you usually between age 45 and 65. Think about America, think about a lot of the unhealthy habits that we have. Usually unhealthy habits are gonna hit us later in life. And what's gonna hit us earlier in life is going to be cancer. So you're gonna develop cancer, you know, in your 40s or 50s, that's when it's first gonna sprout up, most likely. And that's why we have these screen tests like colonoscopy, mammograms, that sort of thing. And then after 65, <clears throat> that's where well, all those years of eating red meat and uh, you know drinking alcohol or what, smoking cigarettes, whatever it is, um, it's going to lead to heart disease, cardiovascular disease, and uh, that's kind of more of our lifetime finally catches up with us, right? So you don't you don't really hear about thirty year olds having cardiovascular disease, having that massive MI. That's very rare, and usually people talk about it because it is so rare. What you do hear is you hear about the older people that cardiovascular disease catching up on them, having strokes, that, you know, that, that sort of thing. Um, and in fact, cardiovascular disease is the most common cause of death overall in America for you know, uh, all people uh, taken into account. And that's because you know, our average life expectancy is higher than 65 years old. So the average cause of death is probably going to be cardiovascular disease. Uh, congenital, less than one year old, accidents for all these uh, young healthy people, cancer for when that cancer, if that cancer hits you, it's going to hit you between 45 and 65 typically, and then above 65, cardiovascular, after all those lifetime decisions finally catch up with you. Those are the most common causes of death by age in America. Thank you.